Okay, hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing this uh, uh, inverter, uh, which is the conversion of uh, from DC to AC. Um, this this particular unit I uh, bought it off from Amazon, um, and the name of this is uh, called I don't know if you can see that, but it's called Elucine or Elucine. It's very hard to. Uh, Pronounce that I suppose, uh, but it's a 2,000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Okay, um, one thing I noticed is that this uh, particular model um, is um, is listed under different um, man, you know, I guess brand name, um, some other names on there, uh, variety, but it looks almost exactly identical. Um, okay. Um, one thing to note is that uh, this unit I bought was a an open uh, box unit, um, so it you know uh, so I'm expecting this probably has been opened and, and used or something and was a return item. However, uh, once I receive it, I notice right away if you can see right here, um, the negative stud has already broken off. Okay only the positive terminal so uh, so that might be a weak link um, and I do uh, notice some review on Amazon that people complain about that particular uh, stud uh, was broken off so either it was very uh, poor um, welded or and, and when you go and tighten up this uh, nut right here that you know if you over tighten a little bit then they will snap that, that stud off so something to make a note of it but anyhow today um, my attempt is gonna um, <clears throat> connect it up uh, using the battery jumper cable that I have like this and I'm gonna see uh, the performance of this uh, 2000 watt uh, you know and see if we can actually output that much Okay, so we got the battery connected. Um, I'm using a uh, an AGM marine AGM type uh, of battery uh, to test this. Um, just so I'm gonna uh, connect it. So we're gonna turn on the um, the power to the unit. Okay, so here we go. So right away, uh, what I notice is it has a nice display on this particular unit. Uh, what is showing you here is some battery voltage, 12.4 volts, um, and it's outputting 120 volt, 60 hertz uh, cycle. All right, and it has a happy face, I guess, and so which means it's happy. And it's showing zero watt at the moment, so that means we're not drawing anything. Uh, I also have an external um, watch watt meter here, right here, that we also going to monitor uh, at the same time. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is, uh, I guess, just turn on this. Uh, I have a six, actually, no, 40 watt light bulb here, and we're going to turn that on and see. Okay, so let's see. If, oh, okay, there's the oh, this light is on. Um, okay, so what is how much it drawing? So it actually drawing forty one point two watts right here. Uh, but this on the uh, unit itself is only saying thirty six watt. So so right away that might be an discrepancy and the battery voltage already dropped 11.9 volts okay um, so this is the uh, actual uh, me you know measure of this uh, voltage um, so it, it's shown pretty good pure sine wave there so this is not a modified sine wave at all this is a pure sine wave and the you can see on the bottom here um, I'm sorry, that is saying this actually is exactly 60.42 uh, hertz. So, 
um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm quite uh, happy with that. So I think that's a pretty good uh, AC signal. So okay. So yeah, it's holding steady at uh, forty one point three. Okay, so here we go. So we're gonna turn on this uh, heat gun and see how much it's gonna draw. It made a beep. Okay, uh, I guess it's this holding the battery too low. That's why it's making that alarm sound. Um, but it's only drawing. 332 watts, I guess, so it might not capable of uh, entering this. I'm cooling, I'm turning cooling down. Um, so, in the cooling mode, I guess it's only drawing about 10, 10 watts. However, it's alarming because it's uh, it's telling me the battery is in low. Okay, so um, yeah, I, I, maybe I, I'm, this battery that I have maybe it's not fully charged or something. So it's uh, it's, it's yeah, causing because it's probably below the threshold. shut it down interesting okay so that's something that is quite uh, an experience uh, I don't know if there's a way you can turn off that uh, alarm sound or not okay uh, but um, we'll probably have to figure that one out see what happens So what I have now is I have uh, two battery connected to each other um, as I charge both battery up, and um, so we're gonna, you know, try out. Uh, so hopefully that will give us in, enough uh, you know, current to you know, for the experiment. All right. So let's see. You know. I'm gonna turn on the uh, inverter. Okay, the inverter now giving me a reading uh, of 12.8, I believe. So yes, yeah, so that is a lot higher than we had uh, before. So let's see what happened. Uh, hopefully we can perform the experiment now. A soldering iron and the heat gun. So we'll, we'll turn on the uh, the soldering iron first, I guess. So we'll power on the adapter. Uh, start the, uh, the heat gun. I mean the soldering iron, I'm turning it up. Um, so it's saying about uh, what 50 only 50 watt for the uh, for the okay. So that's not a whole lot. Um, yeah, I would think that this would draw a lot. Um, and actually, it even dropped the soldering iron as it uh, heat up. So it's still clean. Okay, so we're gonna I get those maybe uh, this iron iron uh, maybe it'll draw more current. So let's see what happens. Okay, so the iron draw three hundred and hmm. 
480. Wow, okay. So it's struggling to, uh, for, hmm, for the iron. This is to me, that's the supply, so let me. Yeah, so it's shut down. This intermittent on and off. So it's really struggling with this thing. Alright, so I'm gonna shut it. Yeah, so that's surprising. Now, yeah, typically these things draw about 1500 watt, I believe. Um, See. Yeah, actually, it's staying here 1200 watts. Yeah, so only 1200 watt. Um, so it should be able to handle that. I'm not sure why. Um, yeah. Okay, so since that's the case, uh, that's not so good. I'm gonna unplug that and I guess we're gonna go with and try out the uh, the heat gun I guess okay so we'll, the battery went back to 12.6 so so we'll turn it on okay So here we go. Turning on. And then turn it on high. Okay, so we I know that this is drawing 500, but yet uh, it's beeping and it's draining the battery down to 12. Hmm, so. I don't know. Yeah, it's really having a hard time uh, for some reason. Mm. Yeah, it's trying to keep up with it. As you can see, um, yeah, with the little low, it's not no, no doesn't have problem. But yet when we, uh, yeah, let's see, I'm cranking this back on. See what it's gonna do. And of course, you know, we know that even this iron doesn't draw a whole lot, so it's only combined between the lamp and the uh, siren. It's only a hundred. 100 watt okay so I think I'm gonna end my uh, project there um, yeah because I don't know exactly I'm I might not have adequate batteries or these batteries are too old um, or it could be the inverter that is giving me the problem um, so I'm connecting my old modified sine wave inverter uh, to the battery that I was having problem with. So um, I'm gonna just to see if if it's actually the inverter or the battery that causes this problem. 
Uh, I have had this uh, inverter for many many years. Um, yeah, so basically, what oh, could be twenty years almost um, back in two thousand three. So uh, I know it's a very reliable, uh, and it's made by Pro Watt. Um, and this is the 1500 uh, modified Sunway. Okay, so uh, we'll take a look at the, the waveform also. So let me uh, uh, let me see what's going on here. So let me turn on this light. Okay, so you can see there. That's the difference between uh, modified sine wave versus pure sine wave, okay? Um, and the cycle is still about, um, you get about 60 hertz also. It's 59.97 hertz, all right? And you can see the lights there. Um, and let me see, yep. So this is also saying 40.4 watt is the draw. Um, so we're going to turn on the same uh, heater and see if it's going to make the alarm or not, okay? So I'll turn it on. And then... Okay, so it's drawing 503 watts and it's still doing it. It's not giving me the error. Yeah, so definitely something is going on with the other inverter. Okay, so, yep, yeah, it's handling this nicely. Um, yeah, the heater is, is doing it. And then you can see a 502 watt that is drawn. Okay, I'm going to turn it back down. Hmm. That's very interesting that the other uh, inverter seemed like it cannot handle it very well. Alright, uh, that's all I want to find, figure out um, if, if it's actually my battery or um, the inverter that couldn't handle that. And again, of course, you know, it could be that stud uh, in the back of the inverter that I could not get a clear uh, connection and maybe that is causing the current to be, uh, you know, uh, fluctuate or, you know, can't deliver the full, full load. Uh, but regardless, uh, yeah, I, I, think, I think there's a much difference between good manufacturing and bad manufacturers uh, of inverters. Like I said, this, this uh, name ProWatt has been around and they do make, uh, you know, the pure sine wave inverter, but it'll be much more expensive, uh, which it might be worth it, in my opinion. All right, uh, that's all I have. Uh, thank you very much for watching.